Hi, hello. <laughs> um, so my name is Catherine Oshiro, um, go by Kat as well. I am a senior digital product designer at Kaliva, and Kaliva is a number one, um, well, I think it's number one, but <laughs> the market leader in cannabis um, dispensary as well as cultivation center. We're based out of San Jose, California. Um, so just a little bit about myself. Um, I have about 12 years of experience building digital products. So my background's a little bit in tech. I've done, um, I worked in small web agencies. I worked in sports media. I've gone to consumer packaged goods, working at Method Products, and really bringing the digital experience to life with UI, UX, uh, branding, mobile design, social media, and a little bit of illustration as well. So today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about why I got into the industry. Um, I've only been at Kaliva for a month, so really kind of still understanding the industry, but I want to talk about my responsibilities as a designer and why I decided to get into it and the challenges. Um, alongside with other designers, I want to be, make sure that I'm part of the change and to shape the success of the cannabis industry. Um, so I focus a lot on empathy, storytelling, and really building a great user experience that um, potentially can change the mindset of in everyone and how they view cannabis. And so just a really quick thing, as you all know, California was the first to legalize cannabis, and in 1996 they passed it for medical, and then in, uh, in 2018 it was recreational. Um, so California represents about 35% of the U.S. cannabis market opportunity. Um, so really, we are the Wild West right now. There's really not a lot of standards. There's not a lot of systems that support it. There are, but we're still building them. And we just don't have the support that most typical retail stores that sell product have. So, um, and especially when it comes to the sales of it, there's a lot of challenges and a lot of things that we run into that aren't the usual. And so as a designer, I think there's so much room to shape that and to really build the, the look and feel of the systems um, and also to be able to drive those industry policies. So at Kaliva, we built a modern cannabis company from scratch. So we are your typical dispensary and we have an ambitious mission to be the most trusted, recommended and recognized lifestyle brand in cannabis. So we really want to focus on how our products um, enhance their lives and people's lives. And as we noticed, like, it's becoming an integral part of people's daily lives. And we provide a plant-based solution for everyday lifestyle applications. So whether it's people that are looking for you know, sleep or anxiety or any relief as regarding to you know, pain and mental and physical well-being, and also people that have real serious medical conditions. Um, so, Along with myself, everyone's really focusing on self-care and just really making it more transparent to everyone. So we have a disruptive business model. We heard a little bit earlier about vertical integration. So um, we do have, and that is, what is vertical integration? So that's basically doing everything. We do it all. We cultivate, we manufacture, um, we have an indoor grow facility um, that ha we produce about 10,000 pounds of per year, as well as lab scientists um, that work on extractions and production, um, in-house testing capabilities, in-house branding, we do the packaging, we have a retail experience, um, wholesale and distribute as well. Um, so we try to be consistent, transparent and accessible. So as far as consistency, we want to make sure that we build a safe environment for a grow. Um, so that's really just sanitation, um, making sure that the conditions are controlled, um, transparent, really talking about what goes into our, our products and how we cultivate, and then accessibility. It's really providing that store, store space and delivery for anyone consuming cannabis. Um, so we at Kaliva really care about the people in the house and out. So I think what really drew me to them was um, just how much they cared about their plants and the people. Um, one one mind-blowing thing for me personally is that we really care about positive energy in our company. So being able to spend time with the plants and feeding that positive energy into the plants because, you know, we believe that, like, if our plants are happy, that transfers over to the product. And then once the product is being used by people, the people will be happy. So um, I really like that aspect of that. 
So that's really a quick overview about Kaliva. Um, I'll get into design, it's a little bit more fun. Um, so this is <laughs> the cannabis world. Fun colors, cool, fun characters, girls in cannabis attire. <laughs> but let's not do that. <laughs> We're trying to strive away from this image. Um, there's a time and place for it, but um, we really want to build a very more sophisticated lifestyle brand. So as a designer, we have to start <laughs> being more responsible and focused. So I want to talk a little bit about responsibility of design for me. Um, being a digital designer, I really think that obviously the experience is very important and not just from a website perspective, but anybody using the product, walking into the store um, and even using the product. Um, education is very important too. There's a lot to learn still and a lot of people are looking for that education about what cannabis is and what it does. Um, and my last point would be empathy. Um, that goes a lot into my design and really understanding the users that use a product. And as a designer, I think our focus is um, on every touch point of cannabis. Even though I focus on digital design, I think it's really critical to understand and consider all aspects of the user experience. So a little bit of experience. Obviously, that's the user experience. But that enjoys that includes buying and enjoying cannabis. And I think, you know, as designers, we can improve anyone's visit and really providing a comfortable, easy, and fun and educational experience. Um, and from a digital perspective, um, while I'm focused on the website design, I really think that's also really considering other parts that relate to the design and of the website, and that includes going into the storefront, the check-in process, um, the ease of checkout um, is from the customer perspective as well as from a bud tender's perspective because they also have to have the ease of working, um, running the website and being able to fulfill orders. Um, so this experience includes, as I've mentioned, marketing, packaging, retail, delivery, and this is a couple photos of our storefront and really providing that comfortable, fun space for people to walk in. And it's not just that stark, boring dispensary that you walk into. It's a little scary sometimes. Um, and then some, these are some of our brands that we carry in-house. And then a little bit of our fun marketing materials like stickers and lighters and whatnot. And then also our website. Um, you know, focusing really on direct-to-consumer and how do we support and build and design um, systems that are both front-facing and back-end as well for the sale, the smooth sale of cannabis. Um, and then when I tackle these sort of designs, it's really working cross-functionally and really understanding the goals of why I'm taking this website and redesigning it. And it's talking to everyone involved in the business, like what are the business goals? Um, talking to sales, talking to store managers, uh, following the bud tenders around and asking annoying questions, um, relying on analytics, um, surveying our most frequent customers on why they spend the most money and why they maybe spend their money on flour versus edibles, um, really observing their store shopping behavior. Um, and then as a designer, coming into this as we have an established and cohesive look and feel, really taking that from marketing and bringing it to life on the website and in store. And um, also I work very closely with the engineers. So when I build out designs like this, really thinking about can they even build out what I, what I designed? Um, what are their capabilities? Like how can I make the workflow more efficient? Um, and even as a designer, thinking about my responsive design. Is it responsive? Is it mobile and friendly? Is it desktop friendly? Is it ADA compliant? There's a whole lot of things to consider. Um, and also our wholesale, um, we're, we support our partnerships and Ease is one that we do support. Um, and really thinking about the product from their end as well, if it's easy for them to use. Um, and let's see. And a little bit 
I got into a little bit, but experience as a digital designer of when designing for digital, some of the considerations you have to think about. Um, customers are always at the forefront of my thoughts is really why the reason they're visiting. Um, you know, are they just there for fun? And some of these people have serious medical conditions that they look for relief. And then there's new customers and there's always returning customers when they shop online and place their orders for delivery versus pickup. Is it, are they on mobile or are they on desktop? Um, so really the in-store pickup versus delivery versus pickup. Well, with any design that comes with challenges, these are some of the obvious uh, um, following state and federal laws in place. And you have to be 21 and over. And there are limits on how much you can purchase a day, which is an ounce per day. Um, and then I think really the biggest challenge is, you know, and it's fun to work with partnering with systems like GreenBits and really building out a, a POS system that supports the sale of marijuana. Um, traditional companies, you know, still we don't have the sport of sales and they're not comfortable working with cannabis companies. Um, so that also leads to only being able to purchase debit and cash only sales because under federal law, it's still illegal. Um, and then um, thinking about mobile, when I come to redesigning things and designing the experience online, it's, there's a lot of parameters you have to think about. The product categories, there's a ton of them. There's edibles, there's flour, there's tinctures, there's topicals. And then, again, whether they're picking up or delivered, depending on their area, um, their shopping behavior, and then their education. But I think really the biggest challenge and the, also the most fun for me is really not having any set rules to building these systems. And I think, you know, there's really no standard of this is how a product detail page should look like or the best way to check out. And those are things that we're all still learning and me by observing people shopping. Um, next piece is about education. Um, I think it's apparent that a lot of us here want to really educate the world about cannabis. And I think, you know, as a designer, it's really crucial to design towards those and really providing like a comprehensive and understandable way that people can understand how to use weed and how to use sorry, cannabis. <laughs> and, um, it's just really a big responsibility for us to arm customers with a better education about their wellness options and really to push aside the traditional cannabis stigma. And so again, really educating people about the different types of strains, um, dosing guides, you know, whether it's THC, CBD, types of terpenes that are available, um, effects, whether it makes you sleepy, happy, sad, whether you're inhaling, ingesting, and with anything, any potential side effects that come with that, because every person reacts differently. And then my last thing, um, my topic is empathy. Um, I think this is really important to me as a designer. And just a little refresher, empathy is the ability to understand what others are feeling, because either you have experienced it or you can put yourself in your own shoes. And it's beyond sympathy. Uh, sympathies, which is just caring and acknowledging that person's hardships and providing comfort. Um, and empathy is really important to me because applying that to design and really, really thinking about the users that are using your product, whether it's a physical product or a digital product. Um, I really think back on my career um, at Method, I focus a lot of design of my digital design on doing better for the world and telling and educating people about naturally derived products and how I can reduce my carbon footprint and waste and really giving back to the community. And even with my freelance work, I did a little bit of design for an app called Med and an app focused on guiding people through bad breakups, um, focusing on mental health, self-care and HUGA, the dangerous word for well-being, enjoying the simple things in life. So I th think here at Kaliva, I really face the challenges of a growing and changing industry worldwide. And I think about how I can shape the industry and use the design to really educate people about cannabis. How do I improve 
user experience from the touch point, the minute that they walk into the dispensary to getting the product in the bag and then taking it home and sitting down and using it. And at Kaliva, we really, it really starts from the seed to the package, to the website, to the checkout process and getting home. And the fo we focus, my biggest thing that I enjoy is the focus on the positive energy. Like sending the plants positive energy that carry on through the products to heal people. Um, in turn, hopefully change the consciousness of the world. Um, as I focus on design, I not only think about how I can change and shape the success of Kaliva, but also the entire cannabis community as well. Um, so thank you. And... <laughs>